Yo, what's up guys? Andy here, back with another tutorial video. Today we're on the Robinhood app and I'm gonna show you how to buy partial stock shares. Okay, so this is a brand new feature. Robinhood has just introduced partial share. So you can come here to your messages and uh, tap on this, or you could go into a stock and get to it that way. But let's just tap on get fractional shares. It's gonna bring us to this screen where we set it up. It says you're off the wait list, get fractional shares to start investing in thousands of stocks with as little as $1. We wanna tap continue. How does it work? We'll slice shares into pieces based on the dollar or share amount you specify, starting at $1 or 0 0.00001 shares. So things to keep in mind transactions are rounded you'll still get dividends you can't transfer fractional shares let's tap continue it's going to give us the customer agreement i just read all of that of course tap accept welcome to fractional shares start investing in thousands of stocks like apple disney amazon with as little as one dollar tap done so now we should be good to go we should be in let's go ahead and go to the stock screen and try and do a purchase also while we're here if you guys sign up using my link in the description we can both get a free stock worth up to $500. So a lot of people have been signing up using this, getting free stocks and it's working out well. So we'll go to my list here with some stocks that I'm interested in. Let's just go to Twitter. We'll try and buy 0.1 shares of Twitter. So I'm gonna tap buy. It says I can buy in dollars. With fractional shares, you can choose the dollar amount you wanna invest. You can always switch this later. So I can buy in dollars or buy in shares. So I'm gonna tap buy in shares because I think that's easier. And now we get the decimal icon on this keyboard here. Before there was no decimal icon. Let's go ahead and tap the decimal, tap one. So I'm gonna try and buy 0.1 shares of Twitter. We'll tap review. It's gonna show me the market price and the estimated cost for me. Then I just swipe up to continue. Order received, done, order completed. Just like that, I bought 0.1 shares of Twitter. Now you can see my stocks in my portfolio. So I have one share of Snap, one share of Cody, one share of HPE, and 0.1 shares of Twitter. And likewise, you could sell fractional shares. I'm gonna tap trade, I'm gonna tap sell. I'm gonna sell 0.1 shares of HPE. So I'll tap 0.1. So it'll give me the details there. Market price, 1014, estimated credit. $1.01. One I'm going to tap review and then swipe up to submit that and tap done. Just like that, sold 0.1 share of HPE. There's how to buy and sell fractional shares on Robinhood. You can also go to buy. If you want to switch this to dollars, tap shares in the top right. You just want to tap buy in dollars at, at the top. Then you could buy like $3 of Twitter, tap review, it'll show you 0.099 is so almost 0.1. So that's how you would buy in dollars. Just tap in the top right and you can toggle between these. Another pro tip while we're here, if you're in Bitcoin, someone asked me this the other day. They wanted to sell all of their Bitcoin, but they couldn't figure out how. So you want to tap sell. You'll see on the top of the screen, I have $351 available, but it's kind of hard if you type in 351 um, to get the exact amount. But what you can do, is tap on a mountain USD on the left of where you see my cursor blinking. So then you'll be able to toggle between Bitcoin and USD. So you could go to a mountain Bitcoin and then just type in the exact amount that you see at the top of the screen up there. 0 0.036353342 BTC. That's what you would type in and then you would be able to sell all of it exactly. So there you have it some tips for the Robinhood app. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try and answer those. Like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this and more experiments using Robinhood and Cash Apps and other investing apps. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Don't lay your problems on the path.